Welcome co-workers to another episode of Salmon Survey where I play a match with each weapon at a given rotation and give my best tips and analyze my own gameplay in hopes of helping you learn some tricks or simply share the way I think and play Salmon Run. These current games are played on Executive VP 100 level, so especially useful for rotation starts. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure to let me know in the comments below so I can create more of them, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. But let's get into this. First wave is with the Dapple Dualies, one of the highest damaging weapons in Salmon Run, along with excellent mobility. It is Marooner's base, so you know the drill. You should be painting both elevators at the beginning of the shift, to make sure you have a path back to the ship in case you are stuck below. This is very important and everyone has likely been in a situation where you wish it was painted before. We're quickly going to clear the fish sticks arriving here. It's one of the most important tasks in any shift to make sure there are no active sticks around the basket, as they can completely block your egg collection or even movement, so it's best to split them the moment they arrive. I like to do this anyway, but since it's a fog wave, it is especially important to always keep looking around for potential danger, so you always know where and what kinds of salmonids are around. I find this really useful in freelance even, as players usually tunnel vision to whatever appears first, so if you can instead focus on other threats that spawn, you can make sure everyone stays safe. As more fish sticks arrive, I prioritize splitting them even though my weapon is not necessarily the best for the task, and remember that Squid Surge exists, so for weapons that can't paint the full totem, it's enough to paint it around halfway, and you can Squid Surge to the top to clear the rest of the fish stick. Since there are no major threats like flyfish or stingers this time around, I'm trying to keep the basket area well painted by splitting those fish sticks and drizzlers, which creates a sense of safety for everyone and play better. The situations you want to avoid in freelance is always panicking, so if you can prevent it, you will generally see your teammates play better. Finally a flyfish appears, but it is alone and we also have another fish stick near the basket, so that gets the priority and since we are really close to the final 28 seconds, after which no more bosses spawn, it is safe to assume leaving that one flyfish will be fine. It's a bit of a gamble, but as I said, there are higher priorities near the basket and we have the quota too, so this wave is pretty much safe now. The rest of it is pretty much just clearing lessers and surviving, but you see the theme of this wave for me was simply taking care of anything that would paint around the basket, or in other words, look for the most dangerous threats for this weapon composition, so I allow the rest of the team to perform as best as they can, which is a massive advantage. Sometimes players blame their teammates too often and instead play alone, but while it's not a good idea to rely on your teammates, if you on the other hand can support and help them out so that they can rely on you, it will boost your win rate by quite a lot. Next wave is with the Jack of All Trades Splashomatic. It is not a strong weapon like its brother, the Splushomatic, far from it, but it is a very versatile weapon, especially with its perfect accuracy. And just like the Salmon Report suggests, I recommend playing it in full support style, meaning you react immediately to most dangerous threats no matter what, since you can handle them all. At the start of the wave, it is a good idea to let bosses come closer, but staying back and waiting while your team splats on the shore is useless. So if they go ahead, always support them and most importantly, collect the golden eggs. Shore rushing isn't necessarily bad, but you have to make sure you bring back the eggs. If you splat something, always bring back something. Now with the sound of missiles, I know where I need to go next, but first I'll split the stingers, since the flyfish already ended its cycle, and just like I said before, if you split something, always bring back as many eggs as possible at the beginning of a wave. Later you should focus around the basket, but at the start always get shore eggs when it's the easiest to collect them. We stabilize around the basket while I'm refilling my ink tank, and I notice someone is on the shore with a steel eel on their back so I immediately rush to splat that steel eel. This is extremely important to do. Many players ignore them if they are themselves safe. Always splat steel eels if they are chasing a teammate, especially if they are on the shore and will likely get stuck because of them. A single steel eel can get a whole teammate removed from the match, so this is top priority. Coincidentally, this is also the time I notice we have great snatchers and the wave is pretty much secured if I split them. So I focus on staying back at the basket and make sure it's clear while waiting for the snatchers to bring back those golden eggs. With all the snatchers and maws and scrappers near the basket, quota will not be an issue so at this point this is all about survival and just waiting for the clock. And remember, after 28 seconds, no more bosses spawn, so what you have there is what you have there in case you're thinking about using a special, this is the right time. 
The wave is secured, it was pretty smooth, and I think everyone reacted to danger fast and smooth, so that was awesome, and I still have my prep tanks. On to the third wave where I get the Goo Tuber that a lot of people struggle with and while its speciality is that it can hold charges while swimming, that's not really what you should focus on but its ability to have fantastic tap shots. Basically if it's not a steelhead or something far away, just keep tap shotting at them and it's a really powerful weapon. Again I'm kinda hoping here that we won't rush to the shore but since we do, I decide to go and help to make sure everything goes well and you'll immediately see how strong the tap shots are. Now this is where a classic shore rushing mistake is done, we all went there, splatted everything, even used a special, and left all the eggs while it was really unnecessary to go back, since there were no threats whatsoever, so I tried to recover this as best as I can, but I get overly greedy and made a mistake that pushes me into the water here. Fortunately, from the first snatcher spawning, I notice we have good direction again, and I can leave those eggs there so I rejoin my team near the basket, where we want to focus on splatting steelheads, and also make sure all those flipper floppers are painted, since they are free golden eggs for the team. At this point, I was thinking about using my crap tank, but we were quite low on quota, so instead I focused on collecting eggs, especially that the others were already focusing on the bosses instead. Once I felt the quota was safe, I popped my crap tank to try to get rid of that really bad position stinger, which I did very clumsily, and I even panicked a little bit here since we didn't get the quota as safely as I was hoping for, but fortunately we managed to clear the end of the wave, even if it was a bit close. We all could have used our special sooner, at around the 30 seconds mark when bosses stop spawning, if you're not overfishing that's really the best time to secure the end, and it lets you do so safely and without any panic. Now the paintbrush is a weapon I haven't figured completely out yet, but in general it's one of the best basket controller weapons, similarly like splatlings if I had to compare, so their playstyle might also be similar. So what you want to do is make sure everything stays splatted near the basket, and on Marooner's Bay that also means controlling the ship so you don't get cornered back at the front of the ship. We're getting some quick splats around the shore, so I naturally also try to get those eggs, though I'm having a bit of problem with a lot of chums here but the paintbrush can easily handle them, and also while the flyfish appeared, my weapon is not great against them because of bad ink efficiency, so I trust that the others will take care of it, especially that this is early in the game. If it was later, I would likely make sure and help split the flyfish. This time around, we aren't blessed with good snatcher spawns, so it's important to get all eggs, and I also help take care of fish sticks since the paintbrush has good enough range to split them from below, and we really don't want them to stay around longer near the basket. I get a bit badly cornered here by some steelios, good example of why you should split them earlier on this map, but we managed to take control and the paintbrush has great damage to even get rid of scrappers with just a few swings, even though they are possibly the worst matchup for the weapon's ink efficiency. Another great example is coming here with the paintbrush on why it's a great weapon to break the salmonid blockade in case you're stuck as brush running is one of the best tools to get rid of slamming lids by running through them and I even got a lucky scrapper splat here. As I make my way back to the basket I do my best to assist with getting rid of steelheads with our good range. And once that is done, the wave is pretty much secured and victory is in our hands, so I decide to do something really greedy and stupid and go to the shore to split those two big shots just for progressing towards my big shot medal. I don't recommend doing this at all so ignore it, but I was fairly sure we are winning so I felt like whatever it will be fine. But that is it for the salmon survey everyone, thank you so much for watching, if you have any feedback or questions do let me know in the comments below and good luck for the current rotation. Remember to subscribe if you like this episode as the channel is full of resources and content that might help you get better. 
But that is a wrap. Have fun, and I'll see you all the next time.